It's LeGarrette Blunt here, man, three-time Super Bowl champion. I just want to give you a shout-out to the YouTube channel, Micro Mike, man. Keep on talking to everything Detroit Lions, and I just got to remind you, man, happy wife, happy life. What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy, Mr. Micro Mike, and today we're going to talk about when shall we get the heir apparent to Matthew Stafford. We will talk all about that. Credit goes to Pride of Detroit with their article. I read it. I thought it was interesting, and I wanted to give my thoughts about this situation when it comes to Mr. Matthew Stafford. But before I get into the video, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for all my notifications. And if you want to become a member, I have that ability now. Become a member. We can do special gifts. We can do live stream gifts. G-I-F-F-S as well as a little bit more, $4.99 and $9.99. It's where I'll make private videos. I will show you how I do things, how, how um, I run my channel, how I create videos. So if you wanna do that, go ahead and do that. So let's talk about the article. So when I wanted to talk about what will affect when it comes to Matthew Stafford, we gotta take into much account. We gotta talk about his age, his health, um, and salary cap, and you know, kind of give an idea when do we think he's even gonna, does he want to stay with the team till he's older or what? So we got to take into many, many accounts with this. I first just want to initially get into the cap situation. And again, it will give an idea of kind of how this is going to go here. Now, what I used for my cap situation is spottrack.com. You all can use it. It's a great website to understand uh, the finances when it comes to our Detroit Lions and its roster. And now in 2020, right now, this is why I talked about in the offseason prior to this video how Matthew Stafford would not get traded because look at the cap dead hit. $32 million in dead cap money. That is if we got rid of him via trade or release. That was not going to happen. That is a monster chunk with a cap hit this year of 21300000 So not too bad this year just for him being on the roster but absolutely no way that Matthew Stafford was going to get released or traded it was just not going to happen this number here explains the whole reason why so let's go in we know he's going to be our starter this year so let's decide to look at his cap situation in 21 so I know it's going to be it's it's a little bit lighter but still it's it's fairly big at 19 million his cap hit is 33 million so actually quite a bit for a cap hit do i believe they get rid of matthew stafford this year or or um you know release him or trade him i don't believe so it's fiscally possible but still at a 19 million cap hit that's a lot of dead money that's a lot of dead money so i don't believe they would decide to get rid of him next year next year now i can see them drafting the heir apparent now put it in a situation like this if the detroit lions have a really bad record and we're a top five draft pick again most definitely i do believe that they would they would tr they would draft the heir apparent to matthew stafford because you got to understand the situation here if we're a top five draft pick there's a huge chance that Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia will not be here next year. And that means you're going to get a new regime. That alone would make them want to draft their franchise quarterback. That alone itself. He'll be 33-34 next year. And it would be a, a absolute bad idea, a travesty, if they did not draft a quarterback just understanding his age and understanding they're wanting to start fresh. Do I believe he would still be on the team? Yes, I do. So in this scenario, that Matthew Stafford would still be on the team, um, but they would draft the heir apparent to him in the idea the following year that he would not be the starting quarterback um, for our Detroit Lions. Kind of like the Patrick Mahomes deal they did there with Alex Smith and other scenarios that we have th seen throughout the years. Now, if the Detroit Lions have a very good record and we make the playoffs and win or a playoff game, could they still draft 
a quarterback for Matthew Stafford? It's possible they could. And I'm not saying that would that would be a late first round pick or a second round pick. Do I think they would do that if we go to the playoffs? No, I don't. I don't believe they would because I think at that point they're wanting to take the next step and go to, you know, a division title or, you know, try to contend if that was the case. And I believe that they would probably get one of those final pieces because you're you, then you're understanding that Matthew Stafford the prior year, this year, he would have played full 16 games. Um, he would have been good to go. He would have brought us to the playoffs. And when it comes to the injury concerns, it would not be that big of a deal. Um, so that would be that scenario. Now, we're going to 2022. Now, this is the year I think that you would see a, you would see some movement here, regardless. Now, in here, to me... This is the this is the year that they will find the heir apparent to Matthew Stafford, and I'm talking about whether they draft one or not, because his dead cap hit is six million. That's nothing at that point. Then you're looking at a, a Matthew Stafford of 35, 36, and to me, you have to have one this year. You got to at least you got to take the chance on getting the heir apparent to Matthew Stafford, and and find a guy to be the eventual replacement for him. And if Matthew Stafford's still playing good, that's perfectly fine. You can send him for a couple years or a year and make the guy just sit behind Matthew Stafford. That's perfectly fine. But considering his age and the, the cap hit, to me, that would be the perfect situation. Now, if we go back to uh, 2020... And this year, Matthew Stafford, his his spine is hurting, and he's going in and out of the lineup throughout the year. To me, we have to draft his heir apparent in 2021. So it all depends. To me, it it, it, it all depends on injury history. So if, say we go eight and eight or a nine win team, but Matthew Stafford's back is hurting, and he's having that that issues with his spine. He's already broke his spine twice. You have to, in my opinion, you have to find somebody able to be his heir apparent in 2021, depending on its health. So we still make the playoffs, but we're, but Matthew Stafford, you, you can tell that his, his back's starting to give out or his play's starting to go down, where you, you, you feel that it's time. Then, yes, if he's having issues, I have no problem in 2021, even if we made the playoffs, to draft a quarterback because you got to understand guys it is so important that we have a guy and this is what the Packers did this year now Aaron Rodgers is much older than he is but Aaron Rodgers hasn't broken his spine twice he's had he's had issues with his collarbone and other issues but a spine is a different beast okay because as, as an individual that has spine issues it doesn't get better and so if he's going in and out of the lineup throughout this year, yeah, in 2021, I have no problem with that at all. But no matter what, in my opinion, 2022 is the year that we are going to get the heir apparent. Because he's older at that point. You're talking 35, 36. Is he gonna is he gonna last till he's 38, 39 like some of these quarterbacks we we seen, like the Phillip Rivers of the world? Or the Eli Mannings of the world, the uh, again Aaron Rodgers is, is probably not because of his spine. Probably not because of his spine. Either way, you still gotta have the guy for the future of you for the next 15 years of your team. So and I, I'm a huge Matthew Stafford fan, but we do gotta look at the franchise in itself. And I thought the article was very good. So make sure you want to go read that on Pride of Detroit. That's where I got the idea from. All credit goes to them when it comes to this idea. But to me, yeah, um, I have no problem with that. I'm not a Stafford hater or anything, but we do got to think about the franchise. So I think 2022 is the most logical time frame. Unless we have a really bad year this year, 2021 is possible. But I do, I, and when it comes to trades for next year, I still don't see it. If, if we're wanting to do a trade in 2022, I can see that. If we decided to draft a guy and before the uh, trade deadline, if they're trying to get something out of Stafford, fine, I can see that. I still don't believe it to be in 2021. So, in my opinion, 
Um, when the trade rumors come up in this offseason, whether we, we go to the postseason or whether we are a bad team still, I still believe that Matthew Stafford will be our quarterback on our roster in 2021. Kind of no matter what, just because, again, the dead cap hit and the cap hit itself. Now, $19 million is not a great amount. You know, it's not like it is 32 million right now or some estimating 28 million. 19 million is still um, a, a decent amount of cap though at that, that range. So again, I just want to give you my two cents on this. Always follow the money, but at the same time, we got to follow his spine. His spine is key and it's the X factor in this whole thing, not his arm. Not the, you know, the, the lack of playoff wins or, you know, the controversial play on the field. But what we got to pay attention to is his spine, his, his, his um, injury history with that back. To me, that's the X factor. Um, and obviously money. But in my opinion, regardless how this season goes, I think he will definitely be on the roster this upcoming year because... If they're wanting to, even if we have a top five draft pick, guys, um, you know, it'd be a good idea to have your veteran quarterback on the roster to groom the next guy. You know, I, I, in my opinion, that's what I, I believe to be the case. But the money is interesting, but 2022 is definitely a year I would pay attention to. And really, if you're talking about to getting rid of Stafford or, or dr simply drafting the heir apparent, I think 2022 is the most logical spot in that. Now with that, folks, um, again, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video. Just get my little two cents in that article. Generally, I don't just talk about articles, but I thought that was a really good one. So go ahead and read it if you want to. A credit to them. And again, man, with that said, folks, I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. As well as if you want to be a member, let's get this thing done. Adios.